Hello everyone, Appointment Management System website module will help in managing the appointments. The customer needs to enter certain information and an appointment will be booked. This will help in plumbing, mechanic, electric, saloon, computer repair and so on. After installing this module, you can see an appointment module right away here. Let's get into that where you can see a list of appointments which are created from the backend as well as from the website. So here you can see an appointment slot. Here we can create an appointment slot by enabling a day as well as you can enable and timings right away here. And here I have just enabled the user who are working. Okay. And here you can see an appointees and also you can see an appointment group for which uh, category we need to be uh, create an appointment. Okay. So here I just created an saloon visit which is an appointee will be in Mohit Rana. So for this, I just enable an appointees right away here. Okay. Now let's create an appointment from the website page. Now in this website page, let's create an appointment. To create an appointment, we need to just click on the appointment page where you can select an appointment for which is in category of an appointment. So I'm going to select a marriage trial makeover. Okay. After that, we need to select a date here. And this will be the person which is assigned. And here we need to select the date. I'm going to select the date for Sunday. Okay. And if you select the date, it will show all the time slot for this particular person. Now, if the time slot is already booked, it will show an denied message like this. Okay. Now let's book a time slot for next one. Now we need to fill all the information which is given below. So here after filling all the informations, now let's book an appointment. So you will get a message like this. Now let's get into the backend to see the appointment which we have created now. So here in this backend page, now let's get into the appointments and this will be the appointment which we have created. You can see all the informations which we have given will be automatically fetched and also along with that you can see the date, week, days and also you can see the start hour as well as the end hour and client note will be available here. Okay, now let's confirm this. So from the back end, if user tries to confirm, you can see and create invoice, cancel as well as the waiting stage. You can see the stages will be like this, like waiting, confirm and also you can see the cancel state here. Now let's create an invoice. Okay. Here we need to select the payment terms and other will be taken from the one which we have created. So now let's create an invoice. So from here. Now let's confirm the invoice. So for this, we have created an invoice, but the payment will not pay. Now we can do the payment from the backend as well as from the website page as well. Now let's get into the website. Now here in this login, you can see for this user, there will be some of the appointments which are created before. To see that you can just get into the appointments where you can see list of appointments created for this user. Okay. Now let's get into the first one. So here in this page, you can see the appointment ID, appointment with date and other more informations about the appointments. Under that, you can see an chatter where you can see an option to write a message and also we have an attachment options. So which will be directly affect in the backend and also user can see the invoice option. So let's get into that where you can see an invoice created. Now this will be the invoice which we have created. Now we can just pay an option. So from here, user can just pay using and um, pay now option. They can pay an invoice that they have created. Okay. Now let's get into the backend. So here in this backend page, let's get into the appointments and this will be the appointment which we have created. And for this one, you can see a log as this customer has selected and wired transfer to make the payment. So once the transfer will be done, you can see the payment transfer. Okay. Now once the transfer will be done, now we can just make use of this to complete the payment. So this is how we can just check our invoices which we have created from the back. Now to create an appointment from the back end, we need to just click on the new option. Here we need to fill all the information about that appointment. Now after filling all the informations, we can just click on the confirm option which is available here. Now in this chapter, user can see the appointment reminder will be there because for this particular user that is the client okay we need to give a reminder before two days so it will show the appointment with date as well as the appointment day will be automatically fetched in this mail content 
So, in this way, we can make use of this model to help in managing the appointments. The customer needs to enter certain details and the appointment will be booked with us. If you have any queries regarding this video, you can ask in the comment box. We will definitely solve your queries. And if you feel this video is helpful to you, you can like this video and subscribe our YouTube channel for more Odoo related updates. Thanks for watching.